my everyday makeup routine. I got asked to film this in my February favourites video, I think. Yeah, definitely February favourites. Um, and yeah, I've basically been doing the exact same makeup look for the past few videos now. Super easy, super simple, and really quick to do as well. Um, so I thought I'd show you on camera. I haven't filmed a talk through makeup tutorial in a very, very long time. Like quite a few months actually it might have even be a year like I haven't done a talk through makeup video which is crazy um but yeah I'm gonna try and do it today I don't like talking through videos like when I'm doing makeup because I find it hard to concentrate but we're gonna go for it we're gonna see if I can do it <laughs> So yeah, it's just a few skin things to mention before we jump on it into the video. As you can tell, I have acne, I have quite a few red blemishes around my face. However, this um, is actually really good for me. My skin's been doing really well lately. Um, again, I mentioned that in my February favourites and I also got asked to do a skincare routine. So that will be coming soon. I am just figuring out how to kind of film it because I want to show you guys but obviously my bathroom is a bit small at uni so I'm trying to figure out how I can film that for you but that will be coming soon so if you want to see that then make sure you subscribe and you will be posted when I upload it but yes I have a few blemishes around my face especially on this side which is perfectly in line with my contour should go so it kind of works and um, my forehead my nose, my other cheek and my chin and uh, basically just everywhere I have really bad dark circles as well so you know, we're just going to highlight the imperfections, it's fine. Um, but yes, I they're like my troubled areas. Well, I've named my whole face, but I love my skin. I'm not complaining. Um, but yes, this is my skin and we are going to be covering it up today and doing my everyday makeup routine. Yes, if you want to know what I've been doing every day on my face, then just carry on watching. Okay, so starting off with foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Cover Foundation in the shade 9 Light Sand. And I'm going to be applying this to my Makeup Box London Hand Palette. Now, I got this sent to me, but I'm going to leave a link in the description from where you can get your own. Um, I think these things are the handiest things. Handiest things, how I get it? Um, because you don't get makeup on the back of your hand. And I am a sucker for it because I always have lipstick on the back of my hand, foundation and everything. But these keep it all in one place and it's really easy to clean. So if you want to grab yourself one of them, I will leave the link in the description box below. I've applied a lot of that on the pan palette that I didn't need um, but I'm just going to dot that around my face and then blend it in as I go. Yeah, I've got a lot too much on there but you know, we'll roll with it. And to blend that in I'm just using the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. This is like my favourite brush for foundation ever. And here we see how actually light it is compared to my skin <laughs> because I fake tan my neck is always a lot darker than my foundation and um, but we sort that out with bronzer later on gonna blend that down my neck and then gonna go in with my favorite concealer and this is the collection 2000 last and perfection concealer in the shade cool medium number two I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes. I, I normally do get this in the shade light, um, but my mum actually got me this one and she got it in the wrong shade, but that's okay. That in using the Real Techniques Contour Brush, which we are not using for contour, but hey ho. Always feel when filming makeup videos like I hold the camera, like I hold the mirror in front of the camera and it really annoys me when I'm editing it. So, Lucy, if you're editing this, well, obviously, when you're editing this, I hope, for your sake, that the camera hasn't got the mirror in it. It's so hard to hold the mirror up, though, and not get it in the shot of the camera, but, like, still be able to see what I'm doing. I need to get it so I can actually sit down with the mirror in front of me and not have to hold it, but we're working with what we've got at the moment. Okay, so I've zoomed you in to my weird looking face right now and I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. Now I use the Revolution, Makeup Revolution Eyebrow Palette and this is in the shade medium to dark, I think. Is that what it's called? Oh no, fair to medium. Um, I'm not going to show you the inside of it because it's an absolute mess, but I just use the wax at the bottom and fill in my eyebrows. Quite simple really, but I hate doing my eyebrows, so we'll see how this goes on camera. This is one of the times where the mirror is just going to be in shot. So I do apologise if that's the case. Okay, to make, 
So to make my eyebrows come back to life again, I fill in the tail at the end and then I do the front and I over exaggerate the front a little bit um, and then I go underneath the eyebrow and again join it up to where we filled in the tail and then I go and over exaggerate the arch a little bit so I just kind of go on top not a problem with doing my eyebrows I hate doing them because I just can't um, but yeah this is what I do and then I go from the bottom and just kind of do brush strokes up a little bit we will sort out the front don't worry about that <laughs> and then I just go on top and fill in there and I'm gonna join it up to where we did that arch before and then just go in and do little hair strokes in the middle I take out most of my eyebrows with foundation and they just end up looking like this and um, where normally they're really dark so I just need to go in and add colour and obviously a bit of shape to them obviously that's really bold here in the um, at the start so I just go in with the Real Techniques hmm the names come up I think this is the, Le the deluxe crease brush I believe and I just go in and kind of brush the beginning of the eyebrow and just kind of blend that in so it's not as harsh on the inner corner I'm going to do the same on this side but I'm going to speed through that process I think the quality of the camera like the colouring has just changed because I looked in the camera and my face looked like white compared to my body and that's not how it looks in real life so I changed the settings on the camera so hopefully it's a little bit better. My eyebrows are done and now I'm going to go in with my powder so I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Lasting Perfection Pressed Powder and I have this, I can't get my words out, I have this in shade 001 Transparent. I'm going to take this again on the Real Techniques Contour Brush and I'm just going to set underneath my eyes and my eyelids where we put the concealer. Set my face, I'm going to move on to bronzing it up. And first, I'm going to contour a little bit and I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution bronzer in the shade. Um, it just says Bronzer Kiss. And I'm going to take this on this brush and it is. I don't know what brush it is, is, it just says cheeks, but this works perfectly for my bronzer to contour with. I'm just going to take a little bit of that on the brush, not too much, I'm not going to go too heavy with it. And just in the hollows of my cheeks, I'm going to apply it and then I'm going to brush it upwards. I'm not going to drag it down because that's when you can look a bit muddy here, so I'm just going to apply it in the hollows of my cheeks and then brush it up. contoured because my face is still a little bit more pale than my neck I'm going to go in with this bronzer I love this bronzer but I actually don't know where it's from it says limited collection and um, bronzer that's all it says and um, so if you can find this then please let me know because I actually love this and I think um, Lucy Dunn must have given it to me so shout out to you Luce for giving me this bronzer because I love it and um, but yes I'm just going to take this on the Real Techniques multitask brush or oh, and drop it all over me and I'm just going to take this and brush it on my cheeks up and basically all over my face just to bronze up a little bit and I've got a hair attached to my makeup and it's itching my face and just bronze up the face a little bit make my face match my neck Going on to highlighting I'm going to take this Technic Strobe Kit in the shade Blush and it is cream and powder highlights but I'm using this one here and I'm going to take it on my beauty blenders now this is a little bit damp I'm going to pop it in and it's really like I don't know why I started doing this but I did and I just love how it looks on my skin 
I'm going to take it on my beauty blender and then just dab it on my cheekbone. Like, look at that. Can you see that on camera? I don't know whether you can. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. I do still apply highlighter because I'm extra. Um, but I apply this and because it's a cream product, I just feel like it makes my skin a look a lot more glowy. Down the centre of my nose, on my cupid's bow. I love putting the highlighter there. Okay, so I will get back to the highlighter a little bit later on. I'm going to do my eyes now. I'm just going to curl my lashes using any lash um, curler. And then I'm going to take my favourite mascara and this is the Max Factor Voluptuous False Lash Effect Mascara. I normally use a lip liner but I've actually lost it. So I'm going to go in with this lipstick. This is... Um, I don't actually know what this is. Um, keep calm and party it says. And it's in shade 050 Violet Blush. And I'm just gonna take this on a Real Techniques Detailer Brush and I'm just gonna kind of like outline my lips and fill in my lips with this a little bit just to add a little bit of colour before we apply the gloss. After that I'm gonna go in with this lip gloss from I don't know where it's from but it's in the shade Petal 21. I will be leaving all the products that I've been using down in the description box and I will try and leave the names of the products if they haven't got names on I'll try and find them. Um, so yeah if you want to know check in the description box below. Highlighter, I'm going to be using the Makeup Academy Undress Your Skin Highlighter in the shade Iridescent Gold. This is beautiful my favourite highlighter from the drugstore. I'm going to take that on the contour brush and I'm rushing because my battery is flashing and I'm going to apply this to the places where we applied the cream contour before. On my cheekbones, down the bridge of the nose and on the cupid's bow. it for this video thank you very much for watching i really hope you enjoyed watching me do my makeup and i hope the filming wasn't so annoying for you i know it's a little bit difficult be filming it with like the mirror in the way and stuff yes i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and i will be sure to film more makeup videos coming um also make sure you comment in the description box not in the description box comment in the comments below what makeup you would like me to do like colours on the eyes and stuff like that like red lips or anything like that because I want to get into more makeup videos because I do love filming them and I love doing my makeup as well um so yes if you have any videos that you'd like me to do then make sure you comment them in the comments below but yes other than that thank you very much for watching I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you next week with another video bye